I'm Helen White from Georgia, and this is the second part of a video that I'm making. And the first one is a uh, my new birdhouse. And if you watch it, you'll see it has a drastic ending. But there's a part two that I fixed it. And it was more beautiful than ever when I got through. So please watch the second video and the first video. And thank you for watching this video. And, and subscribe if you would like to. Thank you. I was opening up a pot. See, it broke. This whole side broke. a hole right here which I think I'm gonna leave part of it because it's gonna be a birdhouse and I'm I'm gonna try to repair it where I can paint it and it can still be usable and it won't look real bad And this is going to be a bluebird house, so the hole doesn't have to be real big. And I've got some more places to fill in. never even done this before but I'm trying it I don't know why it wouldn't work there's no I mean there's limitless things of what you can do with this stuff I'm finding that out. My son told me that, but I didn't really realize it. But uh, I think you can fix things like broken pots. And if the top don't look, you know, just exactly like you want it to, you can always go back in and add some more to it. It's a lot of fun trying to see what all you can make. Try to be able to fix it. When you get it, like, not too wet, it'll stick like wherever you put it. might come down just a little but you can keep adding it's already starting to dry I didn't mix this exactly like I mix stronger this is the glue that Expands whenever you put it on there. It just sticks wherever you put it. I like the way that looks.
That's all I like. And I'm going to try to make it have enough to do that. Break and scrape. Okay, I made it. Now, we got to let it get dry. Show you how to paint the top of my new birdhouse. Put in some red acrylic. what I'm going to use and some brown Let's see how that looks I don't want it to be too red and I don't want it too brown I just want it a, a brownish red Put my little lazy Susan over here. So I won't have to keep moving. This is a nice little thing that you keep you from having to go from side to side. You just turn it. just started doing this kind of stuff about three weeks ago. I've never thought about doing it before, but I was doing some things and my son said, you ought to make you a video. And I didn't really think the idea was too great. And I didn't do it right off, but I got to thinking about it, and I said, well, I might try that. <laughs> so I did. This is not supposed to look like a brand new birdhouse. It's supposed to look old, like me. <laughs> When something's old, you can fix it up a little, but uh, it's still going to be old. This is an awesome hobby if anyone has time. and would, I just take time because I love it. <laughs> I don't really have the time, I don't think, but I love doing this. And 
and I, I it relaxes me and I enjoy creating things. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for, for a minute. I don't know what to do now. I think I'll paint some on this. Here's the pot that was broken. I mean, it was all crumbled. It was just broken and didn't look like it could ever be fixed. I don't know that I even want to paint this. I'm just going to tap it on here lightly. I've never seen a birdhouse like this, which is the first one that I've made like this. And it just was an accident that I made it like this because I was trying to fix it and it didn't look too great after I glued it. So then I decided to cover it over with something to cover up the glue spots that was not looking too good here in Georgia it's beginning to cool down a little I love the summer time where the birds are out and sometime there's some big old hawks around here that gets after them they don't like them, and I don't either. I don't want them hawks to get my birds. I wasn't even planning on painting this. I was just going to leave it like it was. But I think this looks great myself. Okay. See what that looks like. 